Well, hello, Gemini. Thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. If you guys are new, please like and subscribe. All right, Gemini, let's go ahead. Let's get into your reading. Okay, these two fell out. Let me scoot over a little bit so you guys can see. All right, Gemini, really good. I have the Six of Wands, which talks about success right next to the King of Pentacles. So as far as career, finances, things of that nature, you're going to be really good with that. Some of you guys, you know, possibly are dealing with an earth sign here with the Six of Cups. Some of you guys are reminiscing. Your past is reminiscing about you. This is also talking about a soulmate, someone who's going to come in and be very compatible to you. But I'm really seeing a lot of finances here, really good with finances. Nine of Pentacles, success with the Six of Wands and the King of Pentacles. This is really good, really, really good. Let's see here. Okay, you guys are looking good too. So I feel like as far as how you're looking, you're transforming yourself over your body, your mind. Physically, I really do see that for you. Um, so I really do see you, you guys are starting off to a really good start here. I feel like maybe someone you guys were dealing with before, maybe they had been in some type of committed relationship. Um, and I feel that they are possibly leaving that third party for you. Um, yeah. Let me get some more. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Money is going to be amazing. And like I said before, I really do. Yeah, this is what I was saying. It's been a while since you've talked to this person in the past for some of you. And this person was just non-committal. So they were in a connection, but they really weren't even committal to that person either. But I see that they backstabbed you before. Yeah, you're thinking about your person. Your person is thinking about you more than anything. I mean, I do feel like, you know, they're in your energy, but your past person is wanting to come in. Yeah, here with the Ace of Wands, they're wanting to, um, they're thinking about you sexually. So obviously something that you guys are doing, you guys are looking really good physically. So they're really wanting to start something, a new beginning with you. Oh yeah, here you go with the Eight of Wands. Yeah, a lot of passion here with the um, uh, judgment card at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, I felt that. <laughs> Even when I got up in here, I'm like, this person wants to come back in. And they're going to be real committal to you. So I believe that you may have been knowing this person for some years, or you guys have been off and on, that type of thing. Um, I believe that some of you guys are moving on to new love. Yes. And you guys know I don't care who you're with, okay? This is love here, and this is what I'm saying. But heavy past, heavy um, uh, soulmate energy. Really heavy in this reading. So we're going to go ahead and clarify these cards and see what we have. We're going to start with the Six of Wands. Put the Six of Wands for Gemini. Six of Wands. So something may have been on a pause this person may have left you hanging, uh, but I do feel like someone has had an epiphany moment, okay? They've been seeing things from a different perspective and want to come in. They were repeating cycles multiple times in the past, and now it's kind of like, mm, yeah, I think I want to stop doing this for Gemini. And I do see them coming in being really sincere. I do feel like they're feeling this pain, this hurt, this ending that happened between you guys. So let's go ahead and get the King of Pentacles. Oh, yeah. A lot of pinnacles. That's why I said I believe you guys are dealing with earth signs. If it's not earth, maybe fire. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely and, it, it, and I don't say signs, but I'm only just saying in general. But yeah, it looks like they were slow, but they are really wanting to come in and be serious and commit to you. This person is um, it's very ambitious when it comes down to finances. And if they are not, that was the reason why this ended before. Um, because they was very, they were very slow when it came about trying to pursue their dreams, that type of thing. Um, I do feel like they're very much stuck in their head over you or how this connection is going to work as far as finances. But yeah, but I do feel them still trying to come in. Now they have something to offer you. Let's get the six of cups. Yeah, some of you guys are still stuck on this person. Oof! Wow. Wow. Yeah, it was, I think before some of you guys were dealing with, like I said, this person was just in and out. 
Um, maybe this was kind of a connection that was like very passionate, very fiery. You wanted something stable and they just weren't giving that to you at the time. But now I kind of see that this person wants to come in. Okay. You're looking good. They're looking good. You're, you're, you were a very independent and sexy. Something about you made you look now, made you look very attracted, attractive to this person. Let's go ahead and get the Queen of Wands. Yeah, this person is seeing you. So this person is viewing you from the web, some type of social media, and they see how good you're looking. And this is the reason why they're motivated to come in. Mm hmm. Some of you guys may have to travel to see this person. This person is going to want to travel to see you or vice versa. It doesn't matter. But yeah, they're definitely seeing you and they think that you look really good. Let's go ahead and get the Knight of Pentacles. Here at the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, this person has a lot of feelings towards you. A lot of feelings and they just didn't say anything. Um, I feel like this person always had feelings towards you, but they just, you know, I think at the moment they weren't really prepared for a commitment. And like I said, it looks like there's just things that they had to finish, um, you know, whether it's just playing around, whether it's dealing with a job. It was some self-confident issues that I'm seeing with your person. But because you are beautiful and independent, this is what's making this person very attracted to you. So let's go ahead and get the Ten of Swords. Mm-hmm. Your person is in pain. And they're walking away from that third party. Walking away from someone else. This is what I was saying before. I feel like they were in some type of co not committed relationship, but they were already kind of with someone. They were already with someone and you didn't know, but they weren't really in it with anyone. They were just kind of doing something. But this person is, is going to want to come back in. They're going to want to take charge of this connection. Especially here with the judgment card. And they want to give. This person was not reciprocal. Like, they were really holding back. They really were. Emotionally, they were just trying to be very prideful and control the situations, even controlling their feelings. But you had, a, you had an intuition that this person had feelings for you, though. Let's go ahead and get the Seven of Pentacles. Oh, yeah, this person is going to want to make this right. Money is going to be really nice for you, Gemini. I'm going to get three cards for the last two. This person is hiding secret. Yeah, look at them. They're planning. Some of you guys definitely do live at a distance, and they're planning to come in. Oh, yeah, they're very regretful over what they've done here with the Five of Cups. I feel like they tried to release you before, but it just wasn't working. Yeah, they're trying to debate if this is the right thing to do. Like, you know, I'm thinking about them so hard. Should I go in? Should I? But they will. They will. They're not going to have any other choice because it's driving them nuts. They're thinking, thinking, thinking. Um, and this is the reason why here with the Two of Wands, they're planning here. And it's going to be a really good outcome here with the Sun card. They want to heal this connection. And this is why the Eight of Wands is here. They're debating right now if this is a good idea, but then they're just going to just do it. They're just going to jump and do it. Let's go ahead and get the Eight of Wands for Gemini. Oh, yeah, this person thinks of you as a star. Look, see, now you have the upper hand. Isn't that interesting? I told you this person is just going to jump and come in. Mm hmm. It was an epiphany moment. They're going to surprise you, too. Like, even if you know they're going to come in, I feel like they may surprise you. They may see you travel to you. You don't even know if they're in your city or not or if they're even, at, you know, they'll call you, something like that. But yeah, you have the upper hand at this point. And it's not really about that. You don't, you're not trying to play games, but this person, it has a lot of passion and they're just going to run. They're going to run because they really think of you as a star. That's how they really view you. Someone who's worth coming towards. Now, I feel like I do see that you guys are going to be um, communicating. Um, 
and, and it'll be it'll be more serious this time than it was before because this person does look at you as a wish fulfillment i feel like you guys look at each other in that way um but yeah but i feel like this person will still have some things to work on i mean as far as um personality wise and the commitment um I, I think it's more so the ego type of thing being able to open up but yeah this is going to be something that you're going to really enjoy so gemini this is your reading thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel again if you are new please like and subscribe and i'll see you guys back here again soon bye guys